Hey everybody, Model Man here, and on the bench for February whatever this is, the uh, 20-something or other, not quite March, but what I've done is I just spent the last pretty much day trying to get all this cleared off and the regular bench over here, I had a lot of stuff on here as you may have seen from the last video that stayed, and now it's the primary flight deck for the Jupiter 2. I've got that out separated from this, but I'm still going to leave it bagged because I don't know that I can do anything tonight, but it is out, and as far as this monster job goes that I've got, well, I passed all their training stuff uh, Sunday, they called me today to let me know that I'm working tomorrow, it's going to be a 72 hour week, so that plus 56 hours of sleeping, uh, another 10 hours of driving, maybe 12 hours of driving, leaves me about 30 hours a week out of 160 whatever hours per week there is. So I'd like to divide that 30 hours up into, say, like 5 hours on a model over the week. So hopefully we'll be doing that. And first up, as mentioned in the previous On the Bench video, <clears throat> I had said I was going to at least get these red LEDs installed into the main flight deck last weekend, and that didn't work out at all. I've been catching up on the new Modelers brand website, and everything's going well there. But taking a quick look at my notes... I've got at least 50 red points of light on the ship. There's another 15 green, 15 blue, 25 yellow, and 20 orange, and about 25 warm white, all steady. Then there's a bunch of slow flashing ones and fast flashing ones as well. Uh, there's also some random reds and uh, a few other things, but like I said, I'm going to go for the steady reds first. And what I wanted to do is compare the uh, light cast of these two 10 millimeter LEDs with their heads shaved off. And as you can see, the one on the left I took right down to the, well, it's not a filament, it's something else. I suppose that's the diode itself right there out of light emitting diode. So I took the plastic down just above the metal. And over on this side, I just barely took the round tip off just to see which cast more light. And in person, I suppose the one on the right is a little more diffuse than the one on the left. The one on the left being much more of a point light. However, on video, the one on the right is completely blown out. And essentially, that's what I'd be looking for is because this will be the base of the fiber optics that get threaded to however many holes are actually here. So I'm going to use these notes to tell me where to go, and basically on the uh, model piece, I'm going to go to every one of these panels and hold every single thread out to the LED to make sure that it works. These will get stuck into a brass tube, which will go on the bottom of the deck. Well, let me at least pull this out of the bag for that much show and tell. And yes, here's a reminder of what the fiber optics look like as of now. Everything threaded underneath into these major tubes. So, uh, one thing that will need to be done that I'm seeing right now and always knew about is that in this landing gear bay, I'm going to have to cut out a depth for the RGB LED to go into the floor there. So that'll protrude into the exterior of the model. But because it's coming out of the ceiling, it should be all right. All these tubes I originally glued down all those years ago, three years ago now in fact, are for 5 millimeter LEDs and since I've got up to 50 of these red points to fiber into, I uh, dug around I didn't have any brass that will work for that. However, I do have this plastic tube which just happens to fit a 10 millimeter LED precisely. What I think I'll be doing is starting from the center and going out from there for positioning the LEDs. These fixed ones like this here, this will run all the fiber optics off of the freezer tube wall and I should be able to uh, move that around. I don't want to pull at anything. It looks like a few fibers have been captured into each other, but essentially these tubes here can easily wind around to there and I can cut all the excess length off. So I'm going to have to pull out the lower hull here to take a look, but overall I'm pretty sure that inside this central circle here is the safest place to put all the LEDs. So I will be putting them in radially, and where that tube just rolled to, 
I don't know. There it is. So I'm figuring that could even go right there, for example. The LED will go in one end. This is a closed tube right now, so I'll slice off the other, and then you just feed the LEDs into the other end and seal it when you're sure that everything is good. That's pretty much all there is to that. Nice and easy. Getting all the lights blinking and stuff like that, that's going to definitely be a big trick overall. And so, it's finally time to put up or shut up on this one. And with these red LEDs, that's about all I'm really going to do tonight. I'm glad I have this out in the open though. I'm going to put this back in a bag so it doesn't get damaged. And over the coming weeks and months, like I said, I've got about 35 hours a week free to myself. So I'd like to be able to put 5 hours into it a week on this. We'll see how that goes. I'm probably going to skip all the graphics from here on out and just leave it to the uh, YouTube titles. Doing all the extra rendering and processing and titling and all that stuff just adds too much time for what I'm doing right now. And what I really want to do is share all the building. So, that will be all. This is Flight Log 28. Uh, in my recent On the Bench video, I mentioned that I had a computer crash, data crash, and part of that loss was all of Flight Log 27. The only thing that remains of that right now is what I uploaded, so it's a good thing I did. But that means when I eventually go to turn this into a DVD series, everything I did in Flight Log 27, all the fiber optic work, is now at low res uh, with the graphics burnt into them. So that's all for that one. Flight Log 28, I'll name them and number them as appropriate, but I imagine from now on they'll be like flight log 28 part one so that's it thanks for watching i'm really looking forward to getting back to this and uh see you in the next video hopefully once a week at least see ya